What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this series we're going to be making a third person shooter in Unreal Engine 4. In this episode we're going to pick off right where we were last episode and we're going to start by uh, making the sprinting mechanic for the game. Now at the moment, um, if we go and check out the class defaults for the character movement, so if we go down to character movement, here we go. So it's it's not the class defaults, that's something else. Uh, so if we were to uh, look on to the walking speed, our max walk speed should be somewhere here. 600, right. Okay, so that's our current max walk speed. Right, so um, we want to be able to uh, adjust that with the key binding which we're going to set for our <laughs> sprinting. Okay, so the first thing which we're going to do is we're going to make our action mapping. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the edit button uh, up in the top men menu. We're going to go to project settings. And now here uh, it's really um, helpful uh, part of the uh, engine because instead of having to go into the INI files and configuring it, you can do it all here and it's all going to save it to a file. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to the engine tab, but we're going to go to input. Now here you've got your action mapping and your axis mappings. I can um, collapse this for the time being because we're only going to be focusing on the action mappings. So at the moment we've got jump and jump is set to space and oh my god that's a lot of different ones for different uh, types of hardware. Right, so we don't have to worry about that. So we're going to make a new action mapping and this one is going to be called um, Sprint. Oh dear. There we go. So um, I like to have my sprint key on left control. So I'm going to go and find left control here. You can search it up. So left control here. There we go. So that's our action mapping set up. And it should automatically save it. You don't need to um, like press control S or anything. So now that we've set up our action mapping, we can exit out of this. Right, so um, next we need to declare a few variables. So we're going to jump into our third person character here. And then I'm just going to maximize this and then we're going to go onto the event graph. So your um, event graph may look a bit different. It may look like it's got a few more things. I've gotten rid of a few unnecessary things, um, such as the reset VR and the touch input controls. You, you can get rid of that as well. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go down to variables and I'm going to click new variable. And this one it's going to be sprint speed. There we go. So we're going to um, change this variable, variable type from a boolean to a float. There we go. And now let's compile it and save it. There we go. So what we're going to do here is we are going to uh, make a timeline from the walking to the sprinting animations. So uh, for that we do need to find out what the exact number, uh, what the exact speed of the animation is at the moment. So if you pay attention to the feet here, it does look like it is sliding around a bit. Like it's not too bad, but it can definitely be on. So let's just take a look at this here. So if we go into our um, character folder under SWAT and now under idle run, we're going to go into our blend space and under the nodes here, so I mean the pins, uh, it's going to say what our speeds are. So this one says it's at 93.75 and this one is at 375. So what we're going to do is we are going to go into our third person character and we are going to go into the character movement tab. Oh, now here we go, so we've got max walk speed. We're going to set that to 375. I'm going to save that and let's see how that looks. There we go. And that looks fairly accurate. I'm fairly happy with that. There we go, that looks good. So that's our running speed. Of course, if this is a bit too slow, we can adjust this. 
we can find uh, an animation which is a bit faster from Mixmo of uh, of our character doing a uh, sprint like he's trying to run away from uh, some enemies or something. I don't know. Um, we can use that instead, but that that but that will come later. So what we're going to do is um, we are going to create a timeline. So um, we are going to right click on our event graph and we are going to um, bring in the action mapping which we've just uh, made. So type in sprint and it's automatically going to find that. So um, we're going to select the action mapping. Let's zoom in a bit here. Here we go. Here we go. So now. Uh, we're actually going to create another variable here, and we're going to call this is sprinting. Uh, this is going to be a boolean. There we go. So get is sprinting. So no, apologies. Set is sprinting. Now on pressed, we are going to set that to a true value. Got to copy paste that. And when we release the key, it's going to be false. There we go. So we're going to make a timeline now. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag off of this and we're going to do timeline. There we go. So we're going to name this walk sprint. Like so. And now where it says reverse, we're going to drag off of that and connect it to the end node of the released. There we go. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just double click into this now. Um, it's going to bring up this. It does look a bit daunting, but it's fairly easy to uh, do. So we're going to add a float track. And this float track, we're going to set two points. In fact, we are going to name it first. So we're just going to name it... Um, walk to sprint. There we go. So now we need to set our length. So I think that point 25 of a second is perfectly good enough for the increase in speed from walking to running. So what we're going to do is we are going to press control and click, no, shift and wait. I think, I think it was that, was it shift and click? Yeah, shift and click uh, at both points of the, uh, sorry, both sides of the timeline. And um, for the uh, first point, we're gonna set the time to zero, and we're gonna set the value to 93 point, was it 75? Let's just check that again. 93.75, did I get that right? Nice, I think I did, yeah. And then for this one, we're gonna do 0 0.25. We're going to set the value to 375. Now, we can't view it because uh, the sizing is like wrong. So up here, we've got the zoom to fit horizontal and zoom to fit vertical. Now, as you can see, we've got a increase. It is looking rather linear. Um, that's not going to make it smooth. We want a smooth transition from uh, walking to running and vice versa. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this point and we're going to click uh, Auto. That's going to add a nice bit of interpolation. We'll do that on both sides. So we've got interpolation now, and as you can see, it is curved. I'm going to click compile and save. There we go. Ooh, I exited out of the BP. There we go. Let's just get back into it. There we go. So um, now it is um, all set up. Now we need to uh, walk to sprint. So we're going to do set max walk speed. And we're going to uncheck context sensitive. And we're going to click that. There we go. So now it's going to ask for a target. So we're going to set the target to character movement. It would have been a lot faster if I'd check context sensitive again. But there we go. So that's that basically all set up now. So if to click compile and save, and save that, I suppose. 
Uh, if you were to walk, then. Oh, I know what um what I've done wrong. I think you need to go into character movement and set the max book speed to nine three point seven five. There we go. I'm not sure why it's not updating it. Uh, maybe we have to do update. I'm not sure. Yeah, there we go. We just didn't drag the update pin in. So you need to make sure that you connect it up. I mean, it should be fairly obvious. I don't know why I forgot to do that. But also you need to make sure that um, on the character movement it is 93.75 or whatever the walking animation is, the speed for the walking animation for the rifle for the rifle walk and not the rifle run. So let's uh, compile and save. Save that. And now we've got our sprinting. And we've got a, a um, delay as well. And um, just for uh, a bit of um, experimenting, let's set this to 1. And let's set the time on this to 1 as well. So it'll look something a Oop, so it looks something a bit like this. So it takes one second to um, go from walking to sprinting. I'm not too much of a fan of that. Like, it's more realistic. I might turn it down to 0 0.5 maybe. I mean, it's all uh, personal taste at this point. It's all about experimenting and uh, such. There we go, yeah, I'd say that that's alright. And we've got the realistic uh, speeds as well based off of the animations. So we don't have as much foot slide as we did. And I'm fairly happy with that as well. Alright, so in the next episode we are going to get the um, main menu in. Uh, so not the main menu, the health bar and the HUD. So I hope you did enjoy this video, if you did make sure to uh, leave a like and maybe even subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated so uh, you don't miss uh, the next upload and uh, I will see you in the next one.